back with another episode of Talk Crypto to Me. This week, I'm getting to chat to someone that I've been meaning to interview for ages. From London to Dubai, it has been hard to pin this guy down because he's just super busy creating an incredible business. This is Michael Healy, and he created Unit Network, an incredible tokenizing network which allows people and businesses to create tokens based around what they want to achieve in their life almost if they want to be supported if they want to create an ecosystem for their business or as i say for almost personal reasons it's a great concept it's forward thinking it's actually putting utilities and usage to what the technology is creating. So you're gonna to wanna to hear about what Michael has to say. We were actually impressed that coming together in the bear market when things haven't been great, it's been so nice to chat to someone with so much positivity. We're remaining positive and we hope that you at home, everyone is remaining positive in the crypto industry. So it's a pleasure to chat to Michael. I've got Michael here today from Unit Network, and we're going to get to discuss everything about your project. Like we were saying, in difficult times, we are keeping the crypto vote going and staying positive. So why not explain a little bit about Unit Network? Spot on, absolutely. So, you know, Unit Network is trying to solve the wealth inequity in the world. So, you know, there's lots of problems, you know, there's mm -hmm. uh, environmental issues, you know, there's um, poverty, you know, there's... Um, you know, many, many issues in the world. And we think a lot of it falls down to economic reasons. So, okay. you know, we think that there's a small number of people who have most of the wealth in the world. Those are the people who start companies mm -hmm. and the people who invest in companies. You know, if you're an employee or a customer, you effectively are helping make those things valuable, but you don't get any of the upside. So if you think about something like, you know, Facebook, you think about Instagram, you think about, you know, Zoom, you think about Uber, you know, Airbnb, if you're a driver on Uber, the first driver, mm -hmm. you know, when it became $80 billion, you didn't get any of the no. upside. Yeah, you know, exactly. You, you were just another cog in the wheel. Exactly. If you think about, you know, your friends who are, you know, working so hard with their jobs and, you know, helping build incredible companies, mm -hmm. you know, they don't get any upside. You know, they, they get a salary, you know, they kind of survive, they pay their rent, you yeah. know, they get by. But there's, there's this big distinction. There's two sides. There's the people who own everything and the people who kind of make those things valuable, but they don't get any of the upside. And, you know, we're excited for this vision of token economy, mm -hmm. the idea that everything will be owned cooperatively. So, you know, you as a person, you know, lots of your friends, lots of your family, they can buy into you. When you become even more successful, yes. you know, they get a piece of your upside. Yeah. Okay. So it's all about tokenizing. Tokenizing the real world assets, people, small businesses, platforms. So mm -hmm. we think tokens will replace equity. Okay. So equity, you know, you sign a shareholder agreement, you distribute the value amongst the founders, the investors. We think that it's going to move on to being digital. Mm -hmm. So every single business who have a token on top and or a token below and and the value will be much more fluid in how it's distributed so we're really excited you know to be the uh, leading tokenization platform and exchange for you know every asset there's about twelve thousand tokens the more coins mm -hmm. you know we're excited not for 12 million tokens but 12 billion tokens 12 billion tokens so this means lots of different businesses can come to you mm -hmm. and say hey i want to tokenize my business how can i do this how can Absolutely. i get it started so awesome. and, you know our technology makes it free it takes seconds to do free yeah. okay and you know we make a small fee off every exchange mm -hmm. so you know let's say if you bought a hundred dollars of your favorite restaurant mm -hmm. you know we would take half a half uh half 50 cents off that mm -hmm. and that will go into better to to, to to our network but you know we provide an easy way the same way you know websites used to be really expensive to build you know the, the apps used to be really expensive to build you know Tokens now are really complex or difficult. Nobody mm -hmm. knows how to build them. Of course, we, I wouldn't know where right? to start to make. And we just token. make it super easy. You just name okay. it, you know, and and then you have a token created, and then mm -hmm. you can sell some. Then you've got some capital to do whatever you want with it, mm -hmm. and then you know, ideally, you're building a product and service which people buy, mm -hmm. and then when you generate revenue, you'll put some of that revenue into your token, mm -hmm. and that backs up your token's fundamental. So, you know, the issue with coins and tokens at the moment is they're largely backed by speculative value. Yeah. So, you know, someone buys a coin, someone tells you, hey, buy this coin, you know, buy this token. It's hard to tell, you know, is it really backed up by anything? Yeah. You know, it's kind of like, it's kind of a bit like gambling. It's kind yeah. of like, you know, I, I think this one looks cool. Or like, yeah. this looks no cool. one really knows. When it comes to projects, you're like, yeah. oh, does this token Absolutely. sound good? Let me look at the white paper. Mm -hmm. yeah. And still, it's yeah. quite My hard. My friend, you know, she's really smart. He's really smart. He says it's good. You know? Yeah. And we think it's going to change. We think it's kind of like how the internet started. It used to be all about eyeballs. So if your website had a lot of eyeballs, it was valuable. You know, mm -hmm. if this other website had a lot of eyeballs, it was valuable. But then, you know, we're, we're perhaps, you know, we've had lots of downloads, you know, it, it, you know, people thought it was valuable, but both the internet and, the, and, and apps, they needed a business model. They needed to generate revenue. They needed a profit. A lot of people think tokens, you know, are special as money. You know, you don't need to back your, mm -hmm. back your anything, but we think it's no different. So we think all tokens will need to have revenue. They'll need to have a clear product and service they offer. Mm -hmm. And then the, the, the revenue is what uh, profit is going to be backing up those tokens. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be it, it, same as equity, same as ownership. 
So yeah. even if people have established businesses, they can choose to tokenize Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Or an idea. Business. Yeah. And every single okay. thing you have a token. You know, you, you as a person, you know, me as a person, you know, your friends, as a, people, you know, they're all mm. going to have coins and, and that's going to be representing the value of um, the product and service that they offer. And, and people are going to be much more motivated to support one another. Mm -hmm. You know, your friends and family might support you because they enjoy what you're doing and they, they like you as a person. But now if they've got a tiny piece of your success, they won't just say, hey, you know, I knew him or I knew her when she was up and coming. You know, mm -hmm. be like, look, I bought into this person, you know. Okay, so actually you're buying into people, exactly. not just businesses. People, businesses. And, you know, it's going to change the way business is done. So, like, mm -hmm. you know, investing businesses are super serious at the moment. You're mm -hmm. like, oh, you know, she's an investor, he's an investor, you know. They, they know what they're doing. And this is going to make it much more democratized. Mm -hmm. You know, you could walk into a restaurant and go like, wow, the foods are really good. You know, I'm going to put in $50, you know, I'm going to mm -hmm. put in 50 euros, 50 pounds. Um, and, and it's not going to matter. It's, it's, it's just going to mean that you've got, like, a tiny piece of their future success. Yeah, you know, so it's creating like positive ecosystems exactly. of people supporting each other, supporting small businesses, small businesses. big businesses, yeah. whatever businesses you enjoy exactly. and want to be part of. And it's going to change the way people experience money. So now, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of the society is kind of thinking, okay, how am I going to make rent? You know, how am I going to put food on my table, support my family, mm -hmm. you know, pay for, you know, student debt, whatever. And that's going to disappear. And it sounds kind of like, really, is that going to happen? But, you know, with the internet, you know, it democratizes access to information. Mm -hmm. You know, before the internet came, you know, you need to pay lots of money to an expert. You needed to go to a library before it closes. You need to buy books. And that was the way you acquire knowledge. Pay lots for university. And then the internet just provided information to everybody. Yeah. Right? The smartphone did the same for communication. You, just, you know, if you wanted to call the UK or call someone the other side of the world, it would have cost you lots and lots of money, right? But now, you know, the smartphone made it free. You know, if you yeah. wanted to talk to someone for seven hours, you know, you, you actually totally, can, which is right? crazy. Right? Yeah. And tokens are going to do that to money. So, you know, information solved, access communication solved, money, a lot of people, so think about it, most people in the world can't raise a small amount of money for their business um, just because they don't have the network, they don't have the track record, nobody mm -hmm. wants to give them a shot. Tokens are going to change that, you know, it's going to democratize the access to capital. And more importantly, it's going to make it much easier to invest and tell exactly how risky an investment is. So, you know, I used to work for a venture fund, um, third biggest in Europe, we invested in like to Spotify. And, you know, as a VC, you know, as an angel investor, you know, it's very hard to tell, you know, if you put this money in, are you ever going to see that money again, yeah. right? And the cool thing about tokens, you know, is liquid. You can buy into something, you can sell portions of it, you know, in, in a month, in a year, in, you know, days, right? So you, it's, it's kind of like a publicly traded stock. And um, you, um, it's, it's also much more transparent. You know, you can see exactly, you know, what the state of accounts are. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to call up the CEO, call exactly. up the person, yeah. hey, am I going to see that money again? I can't mm -hmm. And just, you know, things like this, moving ownership digital is, is going to really change the world more than the internet and the mobile phone. Because it has transparency behind it. You can actually see how people are doing. And, Absolutely. And also it has like an emotional value as well, because so you're, so. you're then invested in these people mm -hmm. or whatever you're investing in. And I actually, yeah, I like, I like the principle of, you know, if it's actually allowing money to trickle down within a system mm -hmm. to benefit everyone, not just, Absolutely. as you're saying, not just the big players. hundred percent. And, you know, the experience of money is going to be radically different. You know, people think about, you know, should I go on holiday to this place? Should I, you know, buy this? And and people think about the monetary aspect. Mm -hmm. And I think towards the end of this decade, it just won't matter as much. Yeah. You know, people are going to be um, making decisions because, you know, they enjoy what they're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, people will do work because they're like, cool, I, I can see that society needs this. Someone's going to do it. I'm going to do it. They're not going to do it simply, okay, you know, I'm getting paid a lot. I'm going to sacrifice a few years of my life just mm -hmm. to do it. So I think, you know, the things that will take off will be the creative work, so things like making music, dance, yeah. you know. Um, making crypto content, like someone exactly. like myself so that actually so. would benefit a lot. Absolutely. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, a lot of people overlook, you know, the creative works, content creation, arts, uh, music, fashion, but all of this is going to be given, um, you know, like a new, like a new, um, new found respect and admiration mm -hmm. and a lot more capital will flow this way because, you know, a lot of people are investing in things now which are simply profitable or they're investing in things which are very serious and I think you know it's going to democratize the the, the way and how people even invest in crypto like we say people mm -hmm. actually invest in you know the specific types of crypto they've heard of like mm -hmm. they know yeah, but definitely. actually in this way it's using crypto tokenization in a completely new light Spot on. and you know the thing I liked about NFTs was it made people realize that you can buy things which are you know not just protocols you mm -hmm. know so they're not just blockchains uh, they, they, they can be applied towards the real world. The thing I liked about uh, ICOs was it showed that people could use um, tokens, use the blockchain to fundraise. You mm -hmm. know, but people still realized, people thought in 2017 that it was only for technology projects. In 2021, they realized, okay, cool, you know, it can be applied towards more than technology projects. I think what people realized in the next market is it needs to be backed up by the 
operating success of these projects. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if a project generates lots of value for society, products and services, that will generate lots of profit, which will mean that the token price becomes more valuable. Yeah. yeah. It won't just be because, oh, you know, he's really smart or she's really clever, they've got big marketing reach, uh, and then someone buys it and they're left holding something worthless. It's going to be actually backed up by the, um, not the utility, but the the profit and the revenue behind that is generated from the product and services. So it encourages people then to actually have successful projects. 100%. Otherwise, That's it's, what you want. Absolutely. Otherwise, otherwise it's, it's, yeah, you'll forget about the project. You'll be like, okay, I just need to raise more money and get marketing yeah. done. I don't have to worry about the actual success of mm -hmm. the business. Which is the most important part of Which is the most business. important thing. But people thinking crypto is different. You know, mm -hmm. and I'm excited because I think every single business can benefit and utilize this technology. Mm -hmm. And it's really just a matter of time before we get there. And I think a question you probably come up against a lot is, why tokenization because mm -hmm. most businesses have the idea you yep. hear about them mm -hmm. you know oh, we should add tokens but why is it so beneficial? why is it so powerful so it, it it means that the business is more likely to be successful you okay. know so if it's an early stage company or a person who's you know just graduating to university they, they should tokenize themselves because more people are going to care about their success mm -hmm. you know if you started a restaurant you know your friends you know might go to it because they're like okay cool you know i support her because it's a new restaurant but they're only going to support you so much, you know, if they had a piece of it, they'll make sure every day it's full, mm -hmm. you know, and just the alignment of incentives. Um, it's also interesting because if you start something, you can sell portions of what you are building. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wait for a big company to acquire it. Yeah. You don't have to wait for... Um, so it's like a, ra a way of raising funds. Raising, raising funds, going, going to the stock As exchange. you said, like a personal touch of doing exactly. it. Exactly. You don't need to go to funds. You don't need to create a huge business. 100%, much less expensive. It's kind of mm -hmm. like, you know, everything is online now, is on mm -hmm. the internet. You know, everything is um, available via mobile but not yeah. everything i would say next very few things almost nothing is tokenized at the moment no not yeah. really not re i think people fear the word token yeah because you've heard of negative surroundings mm -hmm. about tokens well, so. people invest in tokens mm -hmm. and it hasn't quite worked out totally agree. but but that's because they've been looking in tokens in a different way yep spot on and i think you know we have so much potential in terms of what can be done with this technology i'm really excited for the um the bigger plays in the world, you know, like the big banks, the big mm -hmm. funds, big institutions to realize, wow, you know, this technology is not just a bunch of scammers or frauds. Yeah. It, it, it's actually, you know, possible for democratizing ownership. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really positive. Uh, yeah, I think mean, that is the most important thing. This is technology. Mm -hmm. This is changing how we invest, how yeah. we create businesses, how so we fun. build ecosystems, how Absolutely. we distribute value. Yeah. And also, t and trying to take away from the terrible state that we are in at the moment, which mm -hmm. is mainly due to the fact we have this massive divide between people in society 100 percent. you know this wealth and equity you know you could attribute a lot of the problems of the world down to economic reasons and mm -hmm. i think you know once people um, make decisions less based on economic reasons then mm -hmm. i think it, it's gonna be a much better world you know when uh, it becomes less zero sum meaning that you know if, if i benefit you lose out if you benefit i lose yeah. out if, you know someone else benefits it's it's the result two of us losing mm -hmm. out so i'm really excited for this uh, society where people just think about money as an afterthought. It's like, wow, well, you know, back in the day, people used to work really hard for a piece of paper, yeah. you know, and, and yeah, that like, wage slip coming through. Hundred oh percent, and they're yeah. like, oh yes, I survived this month, mm -hmm. you know. And I think it's really just a matter of time before money is is kind of like electricity. You know, people don't think about, you know, is this place I'm going to going to have electricity? Yeah, you know, or um, you know, about a clean water or a water like water supply. A lot of um, places in the world, you know. Um, they don't have this um, utilities yet because mm -hmm. of the economic reasons. And I think, you know, uh, we talked about Bali earlier. One thing we did before we left uh, Bali, we um, we fixed one of the roads in Bali. And how we did that was, you know, we issued a coin, we sold a bunch of these coins. Um, the government, you know, didn't have the money to support it. This is yeah. an example of something that's privately funded, mm -hmm. you know, which is... And people can good. just come together and actually support, support, support the project. Support, you know, mm -hmm. a playground, a school, you know, really anything. And this was all through tokens. All through tokens. And, you know, it shows that when you, you buy into something, you know, it's not just a donation, you can also sell portions of your, mm -hmm. your return. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And it showcases that there actually is the funds there. It's just finding a way to put 100%. it together. 100%. There's so much money in the world. It's just mm -hmm. very badly allocated. And... Um, yeah, a lot of corruption. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, I think if people had a choice to make money legitimately, they mm -hmm. would. Mm -hmm. You know, it just so happens that, you know, making money um, legitimately is, you know, people think it's more difficult than doing it uh, illegitimately. And yeah. that's why they do it. And um, I think this is going to unlock so much opportunity. And, potential mm -hmm. for people and as we were saying, it's technology based. It really is pushing forward into Web3 and where, thing, where, where things are going. Yeah. So, you know, in the state of, you know, at the moment, we've got about 50,000 users. We, um, 
we, we trade about 1500 assets, um, you know, from people to restaurants. 50,000 users, that's fantastic. Yeah. You've built up it's a, come, a, come a, together well. How, yeah. long, how long have you been in the we industry? Started, I, I got into crypto in 2010. Okay, so, so I, you were uh, early yeah. on board in crypto. Yeah, quite fortunately. I used to work um, at WikiLeaks, so I built the okay. Android app for WikiLeaks. Yep. Uh, the government's for us our bank accounts like Visa, Mastercard, PayPal, um, donation channels. Mm -hmm. So we we were fortunate to start using Bitcoin. I led the fundraise there, so I got mm -hmm. my first Bitcoin nine cents. And you know, even then, it was really tough to see the potential of this technology. Mm -hmm. You know, when it went to a thousand two hundred dollars, it dropped to a hundred dollars for you know several years between hundred to two hundred dollars. It was kind of like, hmm, you know, maybe the industry is kind of done. Or like, yeah. you know, is it ever going to pick up? And I think, you know, looking back at its progression, you know, I really think it's just getting started. You yeah. know, people think, wow, you know, it's a bit late. You know, this industry is never going to uh, grow much more. Yeah. But the way I look at it is, you know, if this was a party, you know, the DJ hasn't arrived, you know, it's it's an empty venue. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe a few people standing around, they're thinking like, you know, was it was it a mistake, you know, coming to this, mm -hmm. to this event? Um, and, and, you know, I think... I like that analogy. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's a party that's just, just, just not getting... even... Yeah, not even, you just got that one person on the dance floor. Dance on the, and you're away. like, who's this weirdo? Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, yeah. I'll join them for a bit. Absolutely. And then, you know, people start showing up and then people leave and it's like, wow, you know, an hour ago there were a bunch of people there and then some people are arriving and it's like, was there really 50 people on the dance floor? Mm -hmm. There's like two people there. Yeah, you know, exactly. And some people are going to get a drink, you know, and they're kind of like, I'm taking a break from dancing. I've been dancing for seven hours, nobody showed up. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, very soon it's just going to be flooded with people. And I think uh, when it becomes flooded with people, everyone's like, oh my gosh, yeah, of course it was a venue. And, you know, when music, when an event starts, there's nobody there. Yeah, right? of course. But then in hindsight, it's like, yeah, you know. There has to be that moment where there is no one. Exactly. And then, all and then of it kicks off, right? And, yeah. and I think it takes a few people like us who, you know, have, have this confidence and um, belief in that, that this industry will pick up. Mm -hmm. And it just takes a bit of tenacity and a bit of um, grit to be comfortable and you know when everybody leaves the party you're like hmm, you know I know it's gonna pick up yeah you know? yeah yeah. you have to have the belief whether it's yeah. in the, as we said the technology if it's just understanding learning seeing mm -hmm. how there is this evolution I totally agree and you know some people might have drunk too much and then they've gone home and you're <laughs> like okay you know which is probably the people that invested too much and, 100%. and something's come crashing Spot down on, or you know these platforms going under and you're yeah. like okay is, is this the end yeah. maybe the dj cancelled and it's like you know what's going on it's like but it's is it still happening keep that party 100%, going yeah um, yeah I, I think that is a crazy thing at the moment you're, you're gonna have so many doubters you're gonna mm -hmm. have so many people that's pushed back and thinks absolutely do i want to tokenize my business oh no what is this why should i hundred percent yeah and and you know, if you, if you uh, are motivated by more than just monetary reasons, then you'll mm -hmm. realize that, wow, you know, whether people lose a lot, make a lot, this technology is going to revolutionize the world. Yeah. I think it's going to, you know, replace um, governments and borders and banks. Well, that's um, why they're so scared of it. I mean, I think, if, uh, if, if you're going to be replaced yeah. in society, yeah. you are going to freak out. Fearful. And also, I think a lot of governments don't understand it. So it's kind of like, imagine you're a uh, telecom, so you're like Verizon or mm -hmm. you're three or you're, you know, Virgin, um, and you heard about this thing about like WhatsApp or Telegram or these messaging apps, and you're like, you know, we're the biggest companies, well, not here, like these smartphones are never going to replace us. Yeah. And now you think, when was the last time you made a phone call? Or when mm -hmm. was the last time you didn't, you know, use an SMS? With them, right. And it's, it just comes really quickly. So it takes a long time and then it happens overnight. And everyone's yeah. like, oh, yeah, it's always the case. And no one ever then can imagine actually going. Back 100%. Like, you know, back. if you had to think about giving up your smartphone, mm -hmm. it would, be, it would yeah. be a nightmare. Well, even like paying by credit card now, like my contact list, mm -hmm. there was times, I remember it wasn't that long ago. 100%. Where like my dad would be like, you can't do that. Hundred like, percent. Someone was gonna. Yeah. Now <laughs> I never don't. I don't. I don't right? I don't it's so normal. Anywhere. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So you know, I'm super excited. I think it's great. You know, people like yourself creating content and mm -hmm. and, and and media and, and keeping the 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 movement going forward. Because if we don't have people like this, then you know, people are not going to be able to hear about what's happening. They're not going to, be able to learn about it. The education mm -hmm. piece is so important, and also explain it in a way which is inclusive. You yeah. know, don't feel like okay, you know, this person doesn't know what they're doing. They're stupid. They're dumb. Yeah, everyone can ask questions. They can reach out to people. Hundred percent. Not every, I, I always say this within this industry. Most of us do not know any. You can be 100%. the most high profile within the industry, yep. but there'll be parts of the industry you don't Absolutely. understand. Absolutely, you've got to be humble, down to earth, and always learning. And also, you know, I, I've um, been fortunate to meet a lot of people who are leaders in the industry, mm -hmm. and a lot of them, you know, they see what's coming within their area, but, yeah. but they miss out on what's there. Yeah. And then well, I've also friends who I, I joke about years after and and. You know, in 2016, 2017, it was very unpopular to create your own coin or token for your platform because everyone said, hey, you should just use Ethereum. Why do you need another yeah. platform? And now people realize there's so much 
um, there's so much, um, so many reasons why you should create your own coin to, mm -hmm. to basically include everyone in the success mm -hmm. and everyone just accepts it. And they kind of forgot about the point that like the past where, you know, they had these sets of views. So the one thing I do like about this industry is people are quite open to changing, yeah. they're quite nice. The thing I think that could be improved is being a bit more inclusive yeah. and um, not treating people um, badly if they don't know something, being okay, you know, if someone asks a question or someone wants to get involved, mm -hmm. being inclusive, don't, don't be uh, thinking, oh, you know, they've just joined the industry, you know, they're, they're not mm -hmm. useful or whatever. So I really think that what we need to do as a community is, is really welcome people and, yeah. and support them. Yeah, because I think it's even like the, the things that you don't, uh, if you're in the industry, you don't even realize, we talk about a bear market and people will say to me, they're like, what do you even mean by a bear? Because I'll be like, oh, we're in a bear market. Yeah, what does like, that mean? Where are the bears? Exactly. <laughs> right? and, and you don't yeah. even really think about the Absolutely. fact that people struggle with some of this terminology, as in, as in with it's, any industry. Yeah. I mean, that's one big problem I have with finance. You know, I, 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 I think a lot of people in finance use really complex words, which aren't yeah. actually that complex topics. No. But they just make people sound dumb or stupid yeah. or unincluded. You mm -hmm. know, and I think one thing we can do better as an industry is is making people feel welcome you yeah. know, and, and explaining to people, look, it's actually not that frightening. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people go into platforms like finance and they go, okay, like what are all these charts and what are these numbers? And Oh yeah, and, the charts kill me. And it's a bit overwhelming. Time, yeah. right? And if you break it down, it's, it's really, it's really okay. You know, and, and um, this level of abstraction shouldn't have, um, it should, you shouldn't, every person shouldn't have to look at these charts, no. right? It should just be a lot more simple. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. actually understanding the fundamentals, as we say, of the technology, 100%. what is, is a token, Absolutely. why is that important yeah. to them? No, I totally and, agree. and that for you, that would be so important to mm -hmm. onboard people yeah. so then they appreciate within their business totally how it can you. benefit them. Yeah. Because even the, even the large corporations mm -hmm. still were taking time to 100%. If you think of how long they took to get on the internet, even, mm -hmm. you know, internet companies, how long they took it to get on the mobile, you know, it takes mm -hmm. time and, you know, it takes a, a bit of grit. And I would say, you know, the internet was a bit of a challenge to get people to care about, mm -hmm. you know, the mobile phone. A lot of people were like, who are these geeks and nerds sleeping outside the Apple store? And then everyone cared about it. I think this is a bigger challenge than both the two. But when it does succeed, you know, it's going to really change the way people live and survive. You know, I really think it's so so ridiculous how there's a small minority society that has a ridiculous amount of money. Yeah. And the vast majority are, you know, not um, living as good a life as they should or living up to their potential. And yeah. I think if you solve the monetary issue for everyone, mm -hmm. then everyone's just going to be a lot happier. You know, the, the homelessness issues will be solved, you know, mental health issues will be solved. Yeah. It's, it's such an unnecessary issue for society to have, I mm -hmm. think. And, but it will be the big players that are going to have to take this on board and actually start allowing things to change because they, yeah. they need to give up their power a little bit in order to allow this. It's true. I mean, I think they will struggle to buy into this vision and narrative. Mm -hmm. They're going to be like, hmm, you know, if I support this, doesn't mean that I lose out. But yeah. what they'll realize is that they'll make more money, uh, but everyone else will be pulled up. So they, yeah. the wealth gap, the rich will become richer, mm -hmm. but everyone else will be pulled up. So, and, yeah. you know, as a result, both people, both sides just won't happy. care. Yeah, both happy course. and they don't yeah. care about money. You know, mm -hmm. people like, you know, if, if someone got offered two jobs and one job was paying three or five times as much, you know, at the moment, they might say, you know, I'll sacrifice my happiness and mm -hmm. take this job I less enjoy. Of Maybe a part, like partners and teams, which mm -hmm. I might not appreciate as much, the vision, whatever. Um, but in the future, you know, I would say towards the end of this decade, people will be like, okay, it pays five times more, but do I really need that much more, yeah. that, that money? Yeah, exactly. you know, I'm, I, I'm bought into so many other things and, you know, my job is really just something I do for enjoyment and satisfaction. I mean, if you hit the point where you, whatever you do is you actually what you enjoy and you're yeah. earning money from that, Spot on. that would just... Oh, change. Hundred percent, and it's really just a matter of time. So I'm, I'm really confident and excited for this. And you're future. on this curve. I mean, you're part of growing something which so. allows people to, totally. yeah. to embrace this. Hundred percent, and you know, one big piece of this change is most coins at the moment are speculatively priced. That mm -hmm. means you know, if more people buy it, more the price will Supply go up. If everyone starts being scared of it, they'll start selling it. And yeah. Start to drop. And how I think it will move towards is where there's a real business behind it. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of like imagine you started a restaurant, or you know, you started a a, a bar or a nightclub or a you know, school, if if it does better, you know, it provides more products and services yeah. to society, then it's going to um, create more revenue, you know, it's mm -hmm. going to make money from, from goods and services, then the token price is going to benefit as a result. Yeah. You know, it's not just going to be, you know, she's popular, he's popular, you know, it's positive feedback. It's exactly. about actually being a successful business. Hundred percent, and you don't have to depend on a small minority society who are geniuses who, who can yeah. identify and 
you know, influencers who are pointing out what's good, it's, it's going to be like, okay, you know, the food's good. You know, they make more money mm -hmm. from selling the food which people enjoy than what they cost to produce it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why it does well. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And you have, you're building society as well that looks to support people, that actually wants to go out and create a better world. Absolutely. And, you know, I think a lot of people want to do good. They want to help other people. But, you know, if you're stressed out, you know, by your job being lost yeah. or, you know, the pressures from running a publicly traded company or, you know, your family that, you know, are saying... Cost of living. Cost of living, right? It's, it's, it's really tough. And it was tough yeah. two years ago. Yeah. And now, you know, people are losing their jobs. Yeah. You know, rent has gone up. Prices have gone up. Inflation. It's even more tricky. But, you know, I think it's just a matter of time before this part of the equation of living will disappear. Yeah. And you're actually, I mean, if you can help be part of this, I think it's an incredible thing. Absolutely. And I think we're all going to be part of it. You know, this entire industry will mm -hmm. shift. It's, it's really like you plant a seed. You know, it takes a while for it to grow. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, you know, if you think about a tree, you know, only towards the last um, cycle of a tree's life is it producing fruits. Yeah. For a while, you're like, okay, it's a tree, you know, it provides me shade, but when am I going to get these fruits? Mm -hmm. you know? and so it it's going to take, yeah, it's, it's going to take, take time. time and you're building your business at the moment. Absolutely. And how has it been in recent years with everything going on? I think generally we're very positive. So, you know, I was fortunate to have really good co-founders and partners mm -hmm. who uh, anticipated this shift. And, okay. um, you know, a lot, while well, a lot of companies were spending on marketing and growing and expensive payroll and expensive offices, we kind of knew that this crash was going to happen. So we were very fortunate we prepared. We've raised about $16 million and uh, we raised about $75 million, um, which we're excited to close. Mm -hmm. And what this is going to do, it's going to, um, you know, build, put the building blocks behind this token economy mm -hmm. where people launching businesses or people creating uh, projects will have the economic means. And um, what, one thing I, what we notice is, you know, people care about crypto when there's a lot of money. So, they, you know, markets grow, everyone jumps in. Of course, yeah. And money the more money like, people hear about, the more they hundred percent. And then the market crashes, people are like, ah, you know, actually, crypto, I don't really believe in yeah. it. Or I'm going to do my other, you know, AI or something else, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what we think is going to drive the next bull market. It's when, you know, people start investing in real world businesses, they'll yeah. start doing well, and then more people jump in and then, mm -hmm. it, you know. It it's goes. a fundamental of tokenomics that probably will, 100%. Ca will carry crypto totally. into a better market. I totally agree with you. And, you know, I think it's really exciting. You know, I, I'm looking forward to seeing your content, interviewing, um, you know, people who have launched businesses and launched tokenized businesses. And they're like, wow, you know, launching a, a business, a project where my community has a piece of it, mm -hmm. it's so much easier. Yeah. You know, I walk in, it's full. You know, I, have to, I don't have to worry about, you know, the prices going up and, you know, people are comfortable paying more because they've got a piece mm -hmm. of it. Uh, people stay longer, they support it, they market it, you know. It's just going to be, a, a you know, incredible, the, the shift. Well, we're going on this journey. I think being, being in this market, we now are, Absolutely. are really, we haven't, we're not jumping out of the ship. We are staying involved. I totally agree. And I, yeah, I think it's very exciting. So I actually don't think we could be in a more exciting position than we I are. I totally now. agree with you. Yeah. And with companies like yourself and the way people are pushing this, mm -hmm. I think the technology is just incredible yeah. there's really so many pursuit. amazing people in this industry no, I totally agree. who are pushing for change and people just see yeah the monetary side of it but actually there's so much the, more. yeah the importance for people Absolutely. is incredible no i totally agree and you know it's really exciting i think regardless of these cycles you know i think the cycle will continue to drop and yeah. then it's going to pick up and you know then it's going to drop even more and mm -hmm. then pick up so it comes in waves yeah. yeah but you're there to support people and create 100%. A new a new way of them thinking Most and definitely. creating their businesses yep. so we run lots of education initiatives we have an accelerator program we um, run lots of conferences live and online mm -hmm. um, we um, yeah we're, we're actively working hard on building this token economy and you know we, we're setting up an office now in Dubai it's um, it's a great spot you know the economy here the uh, ecosystem here is thriving. I think it's it's very welcoming for people doing innovative stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, businesses here definitely will be interested in taking this on board. They want to move Most things definitely. on as quickly as possible. Absolutely. And this is the future, so why not take it on in your business totally, now? Totally agree. And you know, compared to you know other major cities, which are a lot more risk averse and a lot less open to innovation, mm -hmm. you know, I really appreciate. Uh, markets like this which are very forward thinking well dubai's only been around 51 years so, right you know but they have that opportunity absolutely. which when you go back to london it's like, like hundreds of years yeah, archaic they absolutely. don't want to take out most definitely and you know you mentioned what 51 years old countries are really not that old so yeah. a lot of people think you know governments are gonna be around forever mm -hmm. you know banks are around forever, but they really haven't been around for that much no. that long mm -hmm. and you know i think it's just a matter of time before these new technologies will force these um, organizations whether it's a bank you know a government to to reinvent how they operate. Mm -hmm. Otherwise right. they get left behind. Absolutely, new like a newspaper, yeah, exactly. like a telecom, like Nokia. We can create a new country which has adopts all of these different 100%. principles. So the idea of borders, passports yes. are gonna be radically different, yeah. Wow, that was incredible. It's so yeah. interesting to speak to you, Michael. Thank I'm you. so glad I've got to take the time to chat to you. I really so appreciate it. 
thank you so much. And thank I can't you. wait to hear more about Unit Network. So thank, thank you. you.